Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Swastik. And in this video, I'm going to discuss a problem with you which I'm facing for the last couple of weeks and then also going to discuss, discuss about the solution. So my problem at this time is going to be with Spotify. I am actually using Spotify for the last couple of years. I think it has been three years, three to four years by now. It was actually the time in which my family actually got an internet connection in my house. And I've been using Spotify since then. But lately, the situation of Spotify has become a lot worse. Previously, we used to get ads after actually listening to five to six songs. But now the situation has become a lot worse and we actually get ads after listening to a couple of songs. Above that, you don't actually get one ad. I, Whenever I complete listening to two songs, I get two to three ads, each of the, of the duration 30 seconds. So it is very annoying at times. And if you actually use Spotify on your Android phone, then you know how you can bypass situation ad situation. And I'm not talking about that in this video. Actually, I'm not going to talk about that in any of my videos as that is illegal. But uh, you actually don't have that option if you actually use the spotify on your windows computer so i am going to discuss the solution in which you can do the same thing on your windows computer and you can, will be able to bypass the ad situation there so the solution to that problem actually lies in the same way by which you can also bypass the youtube ads in windows and the solution to that is brave browser so open your brave browser and then go to spotify web player and then log into your account and you are just done if whenever you get some ads the brave browser is automatically going to bypass the ads and you will not be disturbed and you will not be annoyed anymore so that was problem number one and solution number one now the next problem what i found was there was no equalizer in this windows laptop so before that let me tell you if you actually use spotify on your smartphone you can actually go to this settings option and from there if you scroll down you will get an equalizer option see as you get it right here it is the equalizer panel and you can actually adjust the equalizer according to your needs but you actually don't get that option in this spotify web player and also on your spotify app which is there on your windows and there are equalizer on windows i actually made a dedicated video regarding that and with which i showed you how to use equalizer api on windows link in the description box down below and in the corners right here or right here but a lot of you guys were, have been commenting that the equalizer was not working properly and those kind of stuffs so i actually had to find a solution to that problem too and the solution to that problem lies in the extensions so you can actually sir, go to your google google.co.in and from there you can just search for any of the equalizer and add it as a chrome extension just like this search for equalizer chrome extension and as you can see they will get a lot of options I have currently installed this equalizer. I'll be leaving the link in the description box given below. As you can see, it is this thing right here, equalizer for Chrome browser. And this actually works completely fine. And you can actually see it right here. After you go to Spotify, just, I don't know if you can see it or not. As you can see, this is the equalizer right here. You don't only get the equalizer, you also get a limiter, a pitch control and a chorus option. I don't know why the chorus option is always faded. I was not able to use it. And you also get a convolver. You might also try other options. There are other options in the Chrome extension store. And that was it. This is the solution to problem number two. So just let me recap the situation. So if you don't use Spotify on your Android phone and you actually listen to Spotify on your Windows computer, you can bypass the ad situation by using the Brave browser. And the second problem is if you don't actually have a working equalizer on your Windows machine, you can install this equalizer for Chrome extension and this is going to work flawlessly. So that was it. If you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and help it grow. Currently my subscriber count is at 80 and that's not a lot. So help me by clicking the subscribe button down below. And if you have got any questions and any suggestions, just feel free to let me know them in the comment section given below and I'll get back to them. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.